Remember guys, the Destiny cult is not about freedom. It is not about fairness. The shaved head gimmick is just that. It's a gimmick. It's a lure. It's a detention drawing element. It's made to draw you in. And you go, oh equality! Oh that's what it's about. Shaving heads, I thought, what on earth is that? Because you get people shaving their heads for charity, don't you? Of course, Bernard Pullman's against charity because he considers it to be a business. Whereas his business, Destiny, oh, that's not a business, that's a uh, development and awareness and progression group, an activist group, or a new age movement. It's a business, Bernard. You use the head shaving to draw people in. To get people to come to your belief system, to your cult. And, you know, I've got to say, well done, in a way. <laughs> well done for pulling the wool over so many people's eyes. We're talking over a thousand people who are members. That doesn't sound like much, but imagine all these people. Involved on some level, you know, reading material... Uh, forums. Not all of them are fully active or active all at the same time. But there's around about a hundred or so who are active on YouTube, regularly making videos like LL Craver, Spam Am, uh, Sinet Spies doesn't make too many things on her own channel, but she does on Destiny Productions. Bernard Pullman, uh, Daryl uh, Thomas, and several other people out there. There's quite a few actually, and these people are spreading their word spamming the internet with their with their message and their shaved heads trying to make out a shaved head solves the world's problems or very least draws enough people to the problems to sort it out how does a shaved head cure AIDS feed starving children, diseased families, polluted water, melting ice caps, holes in the ozone, theoretical holes which may exist in the electromagnetic field which surrounds the earth. How does it affect those things? All it does is add less to the pollution being put in the water supply because of shampoo. Shampoo it goes into the water and it may, you know, kill certain types of life or have an effect which it does. So that's the only good it does. But these people who are doing this, how are they destroying the planet? Computers. They're all on their computers or reading the material or going over different aspects of destiny and other beliefs, getting people interested and involved. A lot of people get turned off by the New Age stuff in Destiny, by the way, as you might imagine. And they don't realise what they're doing. Or perhaps they do realise. They're destroying the planet by using up all that power. All that ele electricity being burnt. The power has to come from somewhere. It's not all from solar panels or wind farms, is it? No. A lot of it's going to be from traditional fossil fuels. You know, gas and coal and, you know, whatever. Being burnt. And after that, probably nuclear. So, you're getting nuclear power, which we know has an effect, because the material afterwards has to be sealed in concrete. For And, it, you know, <laughs> it's still radioactive for, for thousands of years afterwards if not longer. And of course the fossil fuels, all that CO2 going into the atmosphere, keeping global warming going. But then again, I suppose it's a trade-off they make for getting their voice heard. You know, make a lot of attention by getting your head shaved and then don't worry about the electrical problem because everyone else is using loads of power anyway. It's hypocritical. And it's just made to draw people in to follow destiny.